Hey everybody, it's Mac from Rev Robotics. Typically when you're utilizing Android Studio with the Control Hub, you'll need to have your Control Hub physically connected to your PC with the provided USB-A to USB-C cable. This way Android Studio is able to build and then deploy the new robot controller app onto the Control Hub itself. However, there is also a way of being able to do this wirelessly called Wireless ADB. So let's go through the process of setting up Wireless ADB on your Control Hub. So to get started, you're going to need a battery in the control hub itself. And what we're going to do is we're just going to plug the battery into the control hub to get the control hub to start the process of booting. What we're going to be waiting for is the control hub's LED to turn green. Once that happens, then we know that we're able to connect to the Wi-Fi network to start the process of getting wireless ADB to function. So as we wait for the control hub's LED to turn green, we're able to open up our Rev hardware client. And then once the LED turns green itself, we're able to go down here and find our control hub itself and start the process of connecting to the Wi-Fi network that is generated by the control hub. Once that has been started, you'll see that the Rev Hardware client will show our control hub on here. And from here, we can just double check and make sure that we're connected and that all of our things are up to date. From here, we're able to go ahead and switch over to Android Studio itself if you don't have this already open, you can end up booting it. And then from there, automatically, you'll be able to have the control hub will be selected as a running device. So you're basically able to click on your control hub itself. And then you can go ahead and click the play button to be able to run and build if you have any changes to your code that you have running in Android Studio. But from there, you're able to basically deploy and update your code wirelessly from this point forward without having to confirm and double check by utilizing the Rev Hardware client. Now that you have wireless ADB set up through Android Studio, you'll be able to deploy your code wirelessly without having to connect the control hub to your PC using a USB-A to USB-C cable. This becomes really, really handy when you are working on a robot uh, on your field trying to do some updates to maybe your autonomous or your teleop modes. If you end up having any questions, feel free to reach out to us, support at revrobotics.com. Otherwise, good luck, and we'll look forward to seeing you at the competition.